Lesson 2, Exponential Equations, number 1. We have to solve for the x equals 128. Now to do that, I'm going to change these into uh, bases of 2. Okay, so now this will be uh, the, the 4 is 2 squared. So that's 2 squared to the x. And 128 is 2 to the power of 7. Remember, 2 to the 5th is 32. 2 to the 6th is 64, and 2 to the 7th equals 128. Now using the third law, we get 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the 7th. So 2x equals 7, equating these exponents. x equals 3.5. Now if this number had it been something different, like 130, we could not have used that technique. And later on, we'll, we'll do questions like this using logs. All right, we have to solve 9 to the x times 2 to the 2x equals 6. Now, in this case here, I'm going to change that into a 3. So this becomes 3 squared to the x times 2 to the 2x. Now you'll see a whole lot of different bases here, so it becomes difficult, but what we'll do, we'll change this here to 3 to the 2x times 2 to the 2x equals 6. You notice these are the same exponents, so I can rewrite that as 3 times 2 all raised to 2x equals 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So 6 to 2x equals 6. Now we're right to go because we've got the same bases. So 2x equals 1, equating the exponents. x is equal to a half. Right, number 3. We have to solve 0.01 to the power x minus 2 equals 1,000. Looks a bit complicated at the beginning, but what I'll do, we'll change that decimal into a fraction. Then it becomes a lot easier to see what's going on. Now, 0 0.01 is a hundredth. X minus 2 equals, we'll change that to 10 to the power 3. Now here, I can just turn that upside down and change the sign here, remember. So that becomes 100 to the 2 minus X equals 10 cubed. Now 100 is 10 squared. 2 minus X. Multiplying these out, we get 10 to the 4 minus 2x equals 10 to the 3. Okay, now we can equate the exponents. So 4 minus 2x equals 3, minus 2x equals minus 1, x is equal to a half. You also check your answer quite easily here. We put a half in there, we're going to get to the minus 1 and a half, and of course, that, that becomes, let's do that, 100 to the minus 3 on 2, 100 minus 3 on 2, equals 10 cubed. No, don't say that. Well, it equals 10 cubed. And it becomes 100 to the 3 on 2. Now, the square root of 100 is 10, and 10 cubed is 1,000. Or put that in your calculator and check it out.